Welcome back. Tuesday already. Uh, same format as I explained yesterday that we've, we're going to do all of this week. Four exercises paired into a strength and cardio exercise and you've got six minutes, six minutes of each pair. So it uh, gives you 12 minutes all up, no extra breaks, no extra demonstrations. I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration of the exercises up front. Uh, then we're going to take you straight into it and uh, you'll be done and dusted in under 15 minutes with the warm up and cool down. Don't forget to warm up before doing these ones. They are straight in, hard and fast. So you wanna make sure you're nice and warm before you start, uh, but hope you really enjoy it uh, as much as you enjoyed yesterday's. So our paired exercises are as follows. So we're gonna go with upper body <coughs> jumping jacks. So we did uh, upper body cross countries yesterday. So our jumping jacks, normally obviously we'd be hands above the head and feet are going out. This time feet are staying together. Hands are coming up, touching above the head, back down. So you're trying to keep them as straight as you can for as long as you can. So don't bend them in low, keep them out nice and wide, really big arc through the arms. There might be a little bend as you touch, then back down to the sides. As fast as you can, keeping that full motion. You might feel a bit silly, it might look a bit silly. I promise you it's a great exercise. Uh, so we're going from there, then we're going to our cross body knee taps. So we're going into push up position. So coming down in that plank or front supported hold position and you're bringing your knee and your elbow close together. So trying to get that knee as close to your elbow as you can without crunching too high. So try and basically keep that body nice and straight. Hips are a little bit elevated, bring the knee across, tap and straight back out. So that's our cross body knee taps. Then, so that'll be our first pair. And our second pair is our speed bag punches. So you know those little speed bags that hang from the ceiling. The faster you punch, the faster they go, and you try and match the pattern. So you're trying to keep your elbows up above shoulder level or at shoulder level. Hands are rolling forward like they're punching the bag away from you as fast as you can. Preferably not hitting yourself in the face like I did when I first demonstrated this. So hitting the bag with that side of the hand, rolling them through, nice tight pattern. And it's really important to keep those elbows up high for this exercise as well. So you work through those ones, and then we're going into a stationary lunge and it's going to be a stutter lunge so nice big step forward dropping down so notice this knee is not coming forward it's dropping down above the heel above the ankle little pulse stepping back step forward with the other leg so down little pulse step back when you step back i'm not pushing through to the toes so i'm up and down and i'm pushing up through that heel and back in so i'm drawing my feet together to draw back in, going down, pulse, back in. Try not, as you get tired with that, just to start lunging forward. Focus each time. Lower reps and better form is always better. So it's focus each time, keeping that knee above the heel if you can. And that's it. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, three rounds of each paired exercise, 12 minutes and we're done. So we're gonna start off with the timer. So if you get set up for your upper body jumping jacks, so nice and tall. Just get this thing to work. Okay. So getting set up, starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. So all the way up, all the way down. Drive the arms up and drive them back down again. Try and keep your feet still. <laughs> the automatic thing to want to do is start jumping with these, but it's all about the arms and upper body for this one. We're 30 seconds down. Sorry, 20 seconds down. How'd you going? Keep it pushing well past halfway. Now we're 30 seconds down, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady. So we've got 20 seconds rest. Move this down here where I can see it a bit more easily. Then we go with our cross body knee taps. So 10 seconds to go now. So get set up, ready to start these so you can get straight in in four seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. So squeeze that knee. Just use those abdominals to try and keep the body straight to control the squeeze of the knee towards your elbow. 
Nice, constant movement. That's past halfway already. Keep that weight over the hands. Don't let your body drift too far forward. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and steady. Standing it up. Okay, 20 seconds rest. We're going back to the top. Ready to do it all over again. Starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. So all the way up, all the way down. Drive the arms up and drive them back down again. Try and keep your feet still. <laughs> the automatic thing to want to do is start jumping with these, but it's all about the arms and upper body for this one. We're 30 seconds down. Sorry, 20 seconds down. How'd you going? Keep it pushing well past halfway. Now we're 30 seconds down, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady. So we get 20 seconds rest. Move this down here where I can see it a bit more easily. Let me go with our crossbody knee taps. So 10 seconds to go now. So get set up, ready to start these so you can get straight in in four seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. So squeeze that knee. Just use those abdominals to try and keep the body straight, to control the squeeze of the knee towards your elbow. Nice constant movement. That's past halfway already. Keep that weight over the hands. Don't let your body drift too far forward. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and steady. Standing it up. Okay, 20 seconds rest. We're going back to the top. Ready to do it all over again. Starting in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. So all the way up, all the way down. Drive the arms up and drive them back down again. Try and keep your feet still. <laughs> the automatic thing to want to do is start jumping with these, but it's all about the arms and upper body for this one. We're 30 seconds down. Sorry, 20 seconds down. How'd you going? Keep it pushing well past halfway. Now we're 30 seconds down, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady. So we get 20 seconds rest. Move this down here where I can see it a bit more easily. Let me go with our crossbody knee taps. So 10 seconds to go now. So get set up, ready to start these so you can get straight in in four seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. So squeeze that knee. Just use those abdominals to try and keep the body straight, to control the squeeze of the knee towards your elbow. Nice constant movement. That's past halfway already. Keep that weight over the hands. Don't let your body drift too far forward. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one, and steady. Standing it up. 20 seconds rest, and we're going into our speed punches. So, set up either left foot or right foot forward is fine. Remember, rolling through, elbows are staying up nice and high. From our speed punches, we're going into our stutter lunges. We've got 10 seconds. 
in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So it's just the forearms moving, trying to keep those elbows and shoulders steady, rolling through as fast as you can. <laughs> keep it rolling, we're past halfway. Just past halfway. Keep turning it over. 10 seconds left. Fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady there. Okay, ready for our stutter lunges. Alternating between left and right. We're going to start with our left foot going forward. Remembering to keep that knee above the ankle. 20, <coughs> 20 seconds. Oh, voice is breaking again. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So, little pulse. Step it back. Step forward, little pulse. Step it back. 30 seconds left. If you find yourself rocking and rolling around a bit, just dig your fingers into the front of that hip bone, press them into the muscle there. That'll stabilize you a lot faster. And just make sure those feet are staying pretty much hip width apart. Only 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady there. So, 20 seconds, straight back up to the top, getting set up for our speed bag punches again, and work our way through. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So it's just the forearms moving, trying to keep those elbows and shoulders steady, rolling through as fast as you can. <laughs> keep it rolling, we're past halfway. Just past halfway. Keep turning it over. 10 seconds left, fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady there. Okay, ready for our stutter lunges. Alternating between left and right, we're gonna start with our left foot going forward. Remembering to keep that knee above the ankle. 20, <coughs> 20 seconds, oh, voice is breaking again. 20 seconds, three, two, one, and go. So little pulse. Step it back. Step forward, little pulse. Step it back. 30 seconds left. If you find yourself rocking and rolling around a bit, just dig your fingers into the front of that hip bone, press them into the muscle there. That'll stabilize you a lot faster. And just make sure those feet are staying pretty much hip width apart. Only 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady there. So, 20 seconds, straight back up to the top, getting set up for our speed bag punches again, and work our way through. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. So it's just the forearms moving, trying to keep those elbows and shoulders steady, rolling through as fast as you can. <laughs> keep it rolling, we're past halfway. Just past halfway. Keep turning it over. 10 seconds left, fast as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady there. 
Okay, ready for our stutter lunges, alternating between left and right. We're going to start with our left foot going forward, remembering to keep that knee above the ankle. 20, <coughs> 20 seconds, oh, voice is breaking again. 20 seconds, three, two, one, and go. So, little pulse, step it back. Step forward, little pulse, step it back. 30 seconds left. If you find yourself rocking and rolling around a bit, just dig your fingers into the front of that hip bone, press them into the muscle there. That'll stabilize you a lot faster. And just make sure those feet are staying pretty much hip width apart. Only 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and steady there. And just like that, three sets done, done and dusted for the day. 12 minutes of work, hope you build up a nice sweat. Does prove that some pretty simple body weight exercises, if you do them at the right intensity, uh, can really get your heart rate up through the roof, can actually help you build strength as well. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Enjoy the rest of your day, go and get a drink, have a relax, have a bit of a stretch down, cool down. Uh, it's a miserable day outside, so at least it is here. So uh, enjoy staying inside, spending some time with family and friends. Look forward to catching you tomorrow for Wednesday's workout. Thanks guys, bye.